hi to Chaco. Is he going for the fast expansion on this map? We'll never know. Actually, we'll know in a moment. We'll know in a moment, guys. Is the team from Dota? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. More of an L? Yeah, I guess so. You could say it's the L as well. Yeah, you could say it's the L because like my camera it depends how far my camera turns, right? I was uh, in my head. I imagined my camera turning even further, so it would be a V. But like like this is just an L. Yeah, or Tetris piece. This bay lay layout is copied from Computer Easy. Oh, well, Computer Easy did uh, is one of the innovators of certain builds of course because he was playing before any of the players were playing at least uh, for the known public computer easy is was one of the first players there's a water ele elemental here for death note a class scouts a little bit here we have a death knight here lord Maldazar. graveyard is going up the acolyte sees everything over here argument is killing a little uh, little prawn so tasty and he gets coiled in the face. Skeletons here from the prawns. These uh, skeletons, I mean, external skeletons. That's what they are. External skeleton warriors. And you guys didn't know you can make skeletons from external skeletons. But now you know. Now you know, guys. Death Knight. With an acolyte there. This skeleton attacks the Archmage once. This uh, skeleton man, he's he's he doesn't want to die. I think he doesn't want to die, but the death knight kills him. So no 12 XP given to Dollar Don Weaver. We have a crab over there, looking pretty tasty, making me hungry. The skeleton is not okay. Dies to the creep. So again, no XP here for Dollar Don Weaver. Here come the militia, guys. Is he going for the sea giants? Is there already aggroed, or does he just go for the expansion? He's going for the expansion. He is going for this expansion. But do we have ghouls on the way? No. We do have ghouls on the right. We do have some skeletons and Eclite here and our Death Knight, of course. Coil on the Archmage. Can he kill the Archmage? So Water Metal here is down to creeps. Sentry Wars, better not uh, give that to your opponent. Uh, and the Death Knight gets it. Archmage pretty low on hit points. That's such a good item. He places one immediately. This peasant. I think the Death Knight. Yeah, the coil was too late. Still zero XP on the Death Knight. Zero, absolutely no XP, but he got the item. This is a healing fountain. Looks like a mana fountain. This is a random fountain, by the way. Could be healing, could be uh, mana. There's one fiend. He's building a second fiend. Footman here uh, being killed by skeletons. So many skeletons. Hello, six skeletons and a and an acolyte and a death knight. Death knight has no more mana. The creeps are still alive. So here come the militia again. Death knight wants to kill those creeps. He ignores the skeletons. There are only four skeletons now. Is he going for these creeps? Level 5 spider, level 4 uh, turtle. No man on the death knight. I'm not sure why he goes for the the spider crab first. It's a crab. This turtle does more damage and has less hit points. Less than half the hit points. But so much more damage. And uh, you know, there's a claws of attack. Eclite does go down. Does the death knight also pick up the claws of attack? No way. Peasants, the militia, and the footmen defending the claws of attack perfectly. And the Archmage is just alive here in his base. Oh, the Death Knight sneaks in, picks up the claws of attack. He has matter for one more coil as well. This peasant is pretty dead. Whoa! Killed by spiders. This must be a horrible way to die. Just getting getting eaten by small little spiders. Ow, I just bit on my tongue. I uh, recently have been biting on my tongue a lot. It's like once you start biting on your tongue once, it's just you keep doing it. It's like. Every day, I bite on my tongue like two or three times. My tongue is starting to hurt. Because, you know, I keep biting on it. There are three fiends here. This peasant is taking a bit of damage. Oh, this fiend, this fiend is moving over here to the left. We have three fiends just killing this peasant. This peasant, is he going down? Fiend, does he kill it? He kills a peasant. Oh, this fiend is still alive. The army is in the back here. He cannot do much because he's so low on hit points. Arcane Vault going up. Death Knight almost gets uh, surrounded by the footman. This fiend is micro to the left. This peasant here is dead, guys. Hello, Archmage. Hello. The Ar Death Knight has mana, but the coil is not enough. Uh, but with fiend attack, actually, it is enough. It is enough. And the Archmage does die. <laughs> Death 
you have knight and three fiends. That's pretty nice. You can uh, you can just go to the mana fountain, right? Is he afraid of these footmen? Seven footmen when he has three fiends. Nice Nova here on this uh, footman. This footman takes a lot of damage. Is he dead? Oh, the fiend gets around the coil on the fiend. Nova on the footman. Oh, the fiend is going to die, guys. There's one dead fiend. And he's some, some skeletons. And double slaughterhouse. Of course, he's doing a standard build here. Three fiends into destroyers. It's like happy. Uh, happy always does the same build here against the Archmage. Death Knight regenerating some mana. What do we have here? Crap. The, Ar the Archmage is coming back. Lord Maldazar. Nasty in the eternal. The footman, is he going to die? Of course he's going to die. <laughs> Death Knight has mana for one more coil. Lich has uh, soon he will have mana for Nova. There goes that footman. And you know, there. Is, a, is he a black citadel? Yeah. Maybe he could build some more statues. This tower in trouble. Here comes the Archmage though. What can he do? What can the level 2 Archmage do? I'm not even sure if he needs uh, destroyers. Just a death knight, the lich and two fiends. Is that enough? Oh, this fiends might come back. This fiend is 41 hit points. And he is 15 hit points. The Archmage does get the kill. And there's the first statue. Wow, so many skeletons here fighting footmen, fighting uh, peasants, fighting a lich. I mean, a lich is fighting the footman. The footman retreat to that uh, two very low hit point footman. More statues, of course. And I'm not sure. I do, he doesn't have the story form yet, I think. Archmage healing up both his mana and his health. And this tower, this tower is going down. There it goes. These skeletons go for the next tower. And, you know, things are going great. This guard tower is uh, is gone, guys. What a game, guys. This footman, is he going to die? Oh, Archmage attacks this footman over there. With two statues. Three statues. This Archmage, can he kill the Archmage? He won't. Won't kill the Archmage yet. Does he have uh, destroyer form? Because this would be a time to morph. He almost has morphing time. But I uh, don't think he can save this. Oh, kills the Archmage. Doesn't even matter. At this point, doesn't even matter. He doesn't even need destroyers to win this game. At this point, he can win with statues. They do magic damage. They can kill footman. Even with defend. There's nice and snare here on the water elemental. Three statues. Oh, and there's a destroyer. I wonder if Death Note is still going to try to win this game at this point. Destroyer with mana. Kills the footman. And these towers are never going up. Death Note. GG is out. GG. First game goes to Happy. Okay, we have uh, Happy in the top right. Death Note in the top uh, uh, bottom left. In the yellow with an Archmage. Happy with a Death Knight. Here comes the Death Knight. There's an Acolyte. Why do people eat rice cakes? Are they healthy? I don't know, some people are gluten intolerant, so, you know, what else do you eat? Besides, uh, if you can't eat sandwiches, uh, you have to eat rice cakes. This rogue here, this, uh, this acolyte takes a lot of damage. Is he going to die? A player's forces are <laughs> oh, and Happy gets it, 48 XP. Archmage picks the Tome of Strength up and... There goes the Acolyte. The Acolyte is so dead. Have you ever tried Korean style rice cake? Mm, no, I don't think so. Or maybe I have. I don't remember. Koyo, he gets that one as well. Nice 90 XP now on the Death Knight. There's that one level 3 creep and there's one water elemental. And this footman, the peasant I mean, is still alive. The footman defending the peasant. Archmage defending his name. Andromath. Hmm. And he gets that one as well. 138 XP now on the Death Knight. And, he, and the Archmage does get the item. Again, the slips of agility goes to the Archmage. This uh, skeleton, these skeletons, they want this peasant. And this peasant, does he... Uh, is he going to die? A coil would kill him. He doesn't want to use a coil for like a 5 hit point peasant. 
And but he does have to use the coil. And that's his last coil on his lone hit points as well. Now Death Knight can do whatever he wants. He can kill creeps, he can kill skeletons, he can kill death knights. He's no longer afraid of the death knight. Fifty hit points, ten hit uh, ten mana points. Who's afraid of the death knight? Not me. Arcane Tower is up here in Death Knight's main main base, the skeleton. Oh, he just I think he uh sacrifices death note that is death knight hello chaco to the creeps just so he can rebuild him 170 gold come back with full hit points and some mana so death note gonna creep this there's mr skeleton he's killing mr skeleton one hit and he goes down buddies are dead and uh death knight will be back soonish we have a fiend here oh her boulder on the arc mates the Archmage tried to get his fiend with the help of a footman. Maybe he can kill the fiend. Well, the, he's trying. There goes the uh, uh, golem. Tome of strength. One of mana seeding. This water elemental here. Takes a bit of damage. 78 hit points. He kills his own water elemental. It goes down. What about these peasants? What are these peasants going to do? He has six peasants. A town hall. Death Knight coils a fiend that got hurt a little bit. So Death Knight into fiends, but no mana for coils. And the Archmage just steals even more mana from this Death Knight, so he's literally at zero mana now. And he's. Okay, he almost <laughs> looked like he almost was surrounded, but the, the footmen didn't care. They just want to kill the skeletons. The skeletons, they don't care about the footmen. They just want to kill the peasants. And the peasants, they don't care about anything. They just want to build a town hall. But these two peasants are so low on hit points. Does Death Knight kill one? No, the skeletons maybe. Death Knight going for this one. No, he's going for the Archmage. Archmage is level 3. Death Knight is almost level 2. This peasant could give him level 2 or this one or this one. Any of or this one. Four very low hit point peasants. I'm sure Happy's going to kill all of them, but it's just a matter of time. There he kills one of them. There he kills another one. These two still very low. There goes another one. And this last one is also going to die. This one is going to die. The fiend is retreating just beautifully. And so I mean dead peasants. And just like it's like a domino effect. One dies and they all die. Archman steals some more mana from the Death Knight so he doesn't get coiled. Whoa, there comes more peasants. These peasants are just. They're all dying. Like, I don't know. Can he not, like, uh, defend them somehow? Death Knight gets rid of the tower. What if you build this town hall from over here with all your peasants? You just put, like, three footmen there and then, uh, you know, three footmen there. You can uh, substitute the footman for a water elemental, or maybe two footmen for a water elemental. And then the skeletons can never reach the peasants. I don't know. I don't know if that's smart because the, the fiend is there, he's ranged. Anyway, Archmage is back with the boots. Now he's doing a lot of damage with the boots. He can move wherever he wants to go. Try to kill the Death Knight. Death Knight, pretty low hit points. Nice Nova here hits a lot of uh, these peasants, these skeletons, taking them out. This this footman also very low. What is the Lich gonna kill? He c oh, everything. I thought he was just gonna kill one because he was attacking something, but then he just used a Nova and surprises us in the face. The Death Knight has mana for Koyo, but still just level one. This footman is uh, maybe going to die. Uh. Okay, we have a Koyo. I can save one of these fiends, but maybe the Archmage can kill the other one. Okay, nice Koyo on this fiend. No, the fiends are gonna be fine. Or are they? Or are they gonna be fine? Yeah, they're gonna be fine. The There's the second attack. slaughterhouse. Happy, of course, as always. Three fiends into double slaughterhouse. Into mass destroyers, always. Did he lose a fiend this game? Because he only has two fiends. Oh, he lost his death knight. So that's why he didn't build a third fiend. There's a statue going up. Shredder here, cutting down some trees. Archmage hiding over here. And do math. Can creeps level up if they kill a lot? No. <laughs> I wish they could, man. Maybe next patch. Death Knight and the Lich just taking out this water elemental. The water elemental pretty low on hit points. And it does go down. We have now level 2 Lich. Death Knight is almost level 3. The Archmage. Very low on hit points. What can Death Knight do here? Nothing really. His Archmage is too low on hit points. Oh, Nova Coil! He dodges the Coil with the TP. 
Uh, there's some skeletons here. Maybe if they get lucky. <laughs> One gets an attack in. No, Archmage gets away. Lumber Mill, Arcane Vault. Arcane Tower. Here comes the list and the Death Knight. There goes one foot man. Death Knight level three now. The coils are level two. They're so much stronger. He has two statues already. I'm sure he's upgrading uh, destroyer for him. Yeah, and another destroyer. So uh, three statues now. So by the time destroyer form is dead, he can get up to four destroyers. And can Death now defend this? Can he defend this? No. He has a flying sheep over his base, but that's about it. He's still tier one. His Archmage touches that coil nice with the Zeppelin. Seems to water him. Oh, but he cannot dodge Nova. Hello. And. Well, do we get destroyers? Is it destroyer time yet? Pretty soon, guys. Pretty soon. Once this this uh, bar reaches 100%, the game is over. It's that simple. I don't want to, you know, call the game over. I'm just saying what's going to happen. I'm just uh, predicting the future here. This tower is going. Oh, it's done, guys. It is done. There's the first destroyer. How many more? Des how many more do we get? We have web as well. There's another destroyer. And there's Nova on the footman. I mean, there goes this Zeppelin. Hello, militia guys. Hello. Are you guys also want to die? Do you guys want to die? There are four destroyers here. If you guys want to die, Happy can kill them for you. There's a GG by Death Note. Happy wins the second game. Death Note in the bottom left. He's going for an Archmage. No, a Mountain King. Oh. Hello, we're going for a Mountain King for Death Knight. And Happy, is he going for Death Knight? Yes, a Death Knight. He's going with a Death Knight. Crypt, Ziggurats, Tomb of Relics. So far, a very exciting game. This game is very, very excited, guys. Very, very excited. There's a Scout Tower. Scout Tower being built. Scout Tower going up. Here comes the Acolyte. The Acolyte. No! Why? Why do you kill the sheep? I know why. He sacrificed the sheep to Lord. Which Lord? Which Lord do we get? Or Baron, or Duke, or Viscount. There's a Mount King. It's Hogan Ironcliff. It is Duke Dreadmore. The sheep was uh, sacrificed to Duke Dreadmore. Hey, well, this no assassin can he get the last hit on the no assassin? Let's see. Stormbolt on the level five. No, no last hit there. No last hit there. But maybe he can get the last hit on the no, no, no over here. No, no, no. Okay. Top of IQ here on the floor. The death knight showing up. But he has to be careful. Kills one peasant. Nice coil, that peasant. 25 XP. There's another coil. Kills another peasant. The Mountain King attacks the skeleton. The skeleton is still alive though. The skeletons are not done yet. Look at this peasant just still living actually. Oh, the coil gets the kill. And we have uh, three dead peasants. <laughs> he just storm bolted and then retreated. He could have done a little bit of damage against the Death Knight. Uh, didn't look like he could have gone for an uh, Shran there, but I mean, if you storm bolt him, might as well right click him a little bit. These gnolls here going down. It's level one null, no reason to coil that guy. Oh, yeah, there's no more coil on Duke Dreadmore. He's out of a coil mana. Here's some ghouls. Some ghouls showing up. Hello, ghouls. And the Mountain King kills another guy. He's level two. Imagine if he goes clap. So many ghouls here. Some of them did get poisoned. There's an acolyte over there. But the Mountain King doesn't go for a jet. Smart. Super smart here. Lumber mill going up. He's going for this creep gun first. Okay. What a player. What a play here by Death Note. Hello. Death Note should try a different tactic if only for the sake for uh, the people watching. Of the people watching. Well. Mountain King is a different tactic, right? Two circles now on the on the death knight on the Mountain King. Can the Acolyte get the last hit? No. Again, the Mountain King did get the last hit. Here comes the Death Knight. 
Uh, Ant King got the XP. The coil looked like he was gonna get it, but he didn't get it, right? He didn't get it. Meanwhile, militia here killing a troll already. This guy, oh, this peasant though. This peasant. This peasant, are you kidding me? Oh, he's not dead yet. Meanwhile, the mountain king creeping here. The peasant here is dying. This uh, acolyte is dying. And the, and he kills one peasant, he kills another peasant. I'm not sure why this peasant was just going home when he knew there was a death knight there. He could have gone any other way. These two peasants also super long hit points. And uh, one dies to the goal, the other one. The death knight again, hello. The death knight is a peasant sniper, 223 XP already. And four more than he, five, six kills. He, got, he just got six peasant kills. There's a lot of peasant kills. There's a coil on the ghoul. The ghoul doesn't want to die, but you know, the mountain king makes sure he's dead. And mountain king wants his level five ogre magi. But the death knight with the ghouls, you know, they're right over here. There's no mana for coil, but there's a mana for a storm bolt right on the mountain on the death knight. And he has another storm bolt available. So the death knight will have to TP here. And that's what he does. He TPs him. A few more peasants dying, of course. And ghoul dies as well. Okay, well, let's see. Gargoyles. Okay, we have gargoyles. So this expansion is not going up. There's no mercenaries on this map. I'm not sure why this... Uh, why do we see so many mountain kings on this map when there's no mercenaries on this map? Right, this, uh, these expansions are so easy to cancel with the gargoyles. There goes a, another ghoul peasant, I mean. And a ghoul as well. And this ghoul as well. And, you know... This ghoul is maybe... Does he use the... Oh, no mana for Stormbolt. Here come the first two gargoyles. They're just gonna right click this tower or maybe peasants. Let's see. Here they come. Let's go for this peasant. Peasant goes into the gold mine. Does he kill it? He kills it. Nice kill on the peasant. Go for the next peasant. Meanwhile, over here, what do we all, what do we have now over here? Defend. Okay. This tower is gone, guys, and is he attacking now? He's building a tower in his main. Do we see an unsummon on this crypt and attack to tier 3? Probably. Very soon. Very soon, I want to say yes. He has four gargoyles now. Okay, he's going to six, guys. He's killing a dragon. Skeleton's defending this area. Uh, Death Note, he now has defense. He's going for the base. Did he get the dragon already? Yeah, Scourge Bone Chimes, that was fast. Of course that was fast. Hello, four gar gargoyles against one dragon. Here come the footman though, with the Fent and the Mountain King. He has to do something here. He has to kill a bunch of acolytes, that's for sure. Stormbolt kills one of them. Mountain King, uh, go for the ghouls. Okay, this ghoul is, uh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. These, these footmen should probably just cut off these acolytes instead of letting them escape. Mountain King levels up. Level 4 Mountain King. Stormbolt on acolyte. That's a dead acolyte. Uh, coil on this acolyte. He's still alive. These gargoyles, they're attacking themselves because of the defense. So now he's just going for the Mountain King, who's level 4. Sure. Nice level on the Mountain King. He's going for ghouls now. No more gargs. And these acolytes are doing a great job still. This footman. Is he dying? Yes. Meanwhile, no expansion being built, by the way. There was a peasant here, but the gargoyle killed him. So, um, this Mad King will have to TP soon, though. Soonish. I mean, not super soon. There it is. There it is. Okay, he did a bit of damage here. Death Knight did a bit of damage. If you look at the supplies, Death Knight is up in supply. But if you look in the tech, he is uh, behind, but not actually by that far, right? He's almost in tier 2. Happy is just a tier 2, he's not a tier 3 yet. So, uh, this is still a game. So, the Death Knight killed a dragon. We have two Scourge Bone Chimes now. Death Knight staffs out with the circlet. Five gargoyles here. This footman. Okay, he takes the uh, Mount King. Cancels the healing self and the clarity on the Mount King. He's going for this footman now. Oh, he used the fan, but yeah, he's going for this footman now. 
So, uh, five gargoyles. He still has Blade double crypt. He's still attack. not attacking for happy. Is this a chance here? There's a chance for Death Note to win this game, guys. There's a tower going up. He's a tier two. Is he going for what? The rifleman or something? <laughs> How's he? <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. I don't know. Death Note has a plan in, uh, in store for us, guys. There's a second Necropolis. He does unsummon this crypt. Mount King takes a bit more damage. Okay, this gargoyle finds this exp this uh, tower and the peasant. Okay, he's going for the blacksmith indeed, or but he's also going to the castle. So maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's a workshop. Maybe he's just gonna ignore the gargoyles. They don't do that much damage against ground units anyway. Only against um, the towers. Stormbolt on the Death Knight, Nova on the Mount King. Death Knight gets out of the surround. He has staff anyway. So he wasn't really that worried. Uh, Mount King kind of low on hit points now. Uh oh, Mount King Chan is dead. There he goes. No, there he doesn't go. Nine hit points. But he has boots of speed. Can he survive? Oh, can he survive? Can he survive? Nine hit points, 10, 11, uh, 16, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 25, 26. Oh, great healing or healing potion. That's nice. Now he survives. Coil would only do 140 damage. And the Nova, there's no mana for the Nova. Um, hello, Footman. Let's just kill the Footman. Sure, why not? Yeah. This cargo is still there. The Mount King has boots and more healing potions. He should be fine. So, uh, slaughterhouse going up. Another slaughterhouse going up. Double slaughterhouse going up, guys. Alf Gates, where there? Alf Gates, never. Okay. Poor GG. I agree. I think. The Mount King, Stromboss, Lichur, why not? He doesn't want to get Nova. And there's a Nova. And can he block here? He has a coil. Coil does 140 damage. Stormbolt on the Death Knight though. He has one more coil available. Uh oh, next coil can kill the Death Knight, uh, the Mount King. He has mana for the coil now. Oh! Ah! Death Knight level four. Workshop is, it? no, it doesn't go for the workshop. Workshop over there. We have some flying machines. One workshop is canceled. So, uh, well, the Mount King will be back in about 110 seconds. And, you know, that's going to be great. That's going to be great. Here are the statues. You will get destroyer form. But against flying machines, do you still go destroyer form? Is there a better strategy? Like uh, getting a panda, for example. You could get a panda, sure. I would like to see flying machines versus abos. Yeah, that's nice to see. But I don't think we'll see Abos. This uh, footman retreating. Nice retreating by the footman. Destroy form. Staff to his altar. He's gonna buy an orb. Is the money now? There's the orb. And he sells another item. The orb is gonna be given to the lich. There's the panda indeed. And all he needs is a level 3 panda. And then he wins. We have flying machines here with flag cannon though. And a mount king. Skull of the beast. He sells it. Gives the orb to the lich. Kills some trolls. Tome of strength. Picks it up with the lich. There goes another troll. And look at these flying machines. With the footman. And the sheep. Look at this team. Mount King is not back yet, but soon. He's defending this uh, creep camp. He doesn't want Happy to just get his creep camp for free. And Happy said he will take some footman. This footman over there is he. Uh, ooh, both footmen, very low hit points. Panda wants more XP. He wants to be stronger. He's in a hurry to be stronger. He just wants power. He just wants hotter breath of fires. And he gets a really nice item. Catcar's pipe of insight. Hello. 
Like Happy wasn't in a good position already. Catacar's pipe of insight is so strong. That's really strong. Mount King going for the uh, for the creep camp at the other side of the map. The flying machines. Maybe if we can micro the flying machines really well. If we can spread them out really, 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 really well. Now maybe he can prevent the panda from killing them all. And then he can kill the gargoyles, the destroyers. Then Stormbolt, you know, the Death Knight and the Lich and the panda. And kill everything. Look at these flying machines against the gargoyles. There's a the breath of fire. Uh, the coil, I think, missed the gargoyle. I think he died, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, th these gargoyles are all dead. But, you know, another breath of fire. There's only five flying machines left. Mount King used the info potion. And, you know, the gargoyles are all dead, but there's still a destroyer. There's some more footmen. A lot of footmen did go down. Did he got the item, by the way, before. Uh, no. GG. GG. Easy game, guys. Easy game for Happy. Happy wins 3 0. And happy wins PG Cup 15, like I predicted.